Alrighty, everyone, welcome back. Uh, we have Salsa joining us as well. You might be able to see her at Salsa Dog. Uh, she'll be joining us for today's mail day video. Hopefully, everyone is doing all right. Thank you to everyone who sent mail. I am catching up. I know there's some things here from uh, late June. I think one's June 30th. Uh, that's probably the, er or the earliest or the oldest package. So I'm trying to catch up on things. Uh, very, very busy summer, but thank you to everyone who sent mail. I know a lot of people have requested for mail day. Try to get to it about once every month or once every month and a half. Uh, so let's get into it. Thank you to everyone who sent mail. If you guys are curious or girls are curious about how to... Oh, salsa's getting fired up. All right, sorry about that. Salsa got fired up, had to take her outside. But if you guys or girls are curious about how to send any packages or where to send any packages, my P.O. Box information is in the description below. All you have to do is copy and paste it. Uh, I, my P.O. Box does not take UPS. I don't think it takes DHL. It might take DHL, but if you can avoid using those two services, um, I know my P.O. Box just, I can't pick it up. So uh, same with, I think, FedEx. So I think the repulsive service does work. Uh, just in the description below, if you guys are on a television or a mobile device, you might have to go onto a computer or a desktop or a tablet or something like that to see the P.O. box or the, uh, the address in the description. Uh, but let's get into it. Thank you to everyone who sent packages. I'm going to go ahead and get to a couple letters here. We have this one is from Barbara B. in New Jersey. You know, Barbara B. probably six months ago sent me one of all closed captions. This one is as well. There's a couple closed caption errors. So that's one of the things with YouTube. You can have closed captions uh, added on. Something like uh, I said something like, like thrift stores and turned into thirst doors. I guess that's a glider. It turns into, I guess that's a collider. All sorts of different closed captions. Kind of a cool little add-on if you guys are curious or want to laugh a little. I know with uh, a couple of the, what's it called? Uh, not Zoom, something. Maybe it's Google Hangouts. You can add closed captions and it's hilarious uh, with what it says. We have one here from Cactus Kobe in Delaware. Let's go ahead. He looks like he uh, sent some clippings. Here are some interesting scrapper pics that you might like to show briefly during your videos. Oh yeah, some cool little scrap things. A little uh, recycling. We have some fishing going on. Looks like they're fishing for treasure. These people are actually recycling tires. I guess that was a thing. Right now it's like impossible to get rid of tires. It costs money. It's a weird, really, 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 really weird uh, system they got going on with tire recycling. Uh, it costs money to recycle tires, but then you make money if you are a tire recycler just by the rubber uh, that you are recycling. Uh, so very, very cool, all sorts of different things. All sorts of different things. This one is from Live It Again 1942. Whole bunch of recycling. As salsa drink some water. So thanks, Cactus Kobe, for that. A couple of little cool pictures there. Salsa, you're gonna run out of water. Here's one from Travis B in Texas. <laughs> it's a good one. A little card here. Ooh, we got a little coupon, a coupon, a gift card. Taco Stacks. It is because of channels like yours that I was able to sell over 10,000 in my first month on eBay. Keep living a dream, Travis B. Thanks, Travis B. Thanks, Travis. Greatly appreciate it. I'm glad you like the content. We have a Dunkin' Donuts gift card here. Greatly appreciate it. This, I think, is the receipt for it. $20. $20 to uh, Dunkin' Donuts. So, have the game by Dunkin' Donuts fixed. Congratulations, congratulations, Travis B. On all your success on eBay, if you want, maybe check out Etsy as well if you do any clothing reselling. Etsy, you seem to, at least my personal opinion, Etsy, I seem to make a little bit more money on uh, in terms of the product. The products do sit a little bit longer. So if you're curious about doing clothes, low vintage clothes, Etsy is a great platform as well. But congratulations on eBay. I do sell on eBay as well. Not getting any sort of bias here, but uh, congratulations, Travis B, on all your success on eBay. And lastly, we have a postcard here from Rebecca out of New York State Taco. I've been watching your videos to get my daily salsa fix. Absolutely. Thanks again, Rebecca. Thanks, Rebecca. Greatly appreciate it. Hopefully all is well with you as well. Salsa's over here in the corner. Everyone wants a salsa fix, Rebecca and gang? There's salsa hanging out. <laughs> oh, oh, now she's fired up. 
All right, getting here into the packages, we have one here from J. Crew, Stony Creek, Ontario, Canada. Oh, very cool there. Hey Taco, J. Crew here, just wanted to send you and Salsa a little something. We love that you're putting out more content than ever. We start an Instagram account. Crews, collectibles, and more. Best of luck, pick and sell it from Jerry and Jenny C, the J Crew. Thank you, Jerry and Jenna, or Jenny. Uh, cool, little 49ers license plate, kind of like a decorative one. If you're a 49ers fan, that'd be an awesome plate to throw on the front of your vehicle. And of course, we got some salsa treats. So thank you to you two for the salsa treats and the 49ers Vandy style plate. I want to say Vandy decorative plate. Very, very cool. Hopefully all is well with you. And if you are selling on uh, Instagram, best of luck. I know a lot of people do have success on Instagram. So thank you, Jerry and Jenna. Greatly appreciate it. Salsa's gonna love her treats. All right, this one's got some weight to here. We have one from Candy B in, I believe that's Tennessee. Oh, wow. We got a lot of stuff here. To my loving husband, whom I adore more than life itself. Happy birthday. That's good though, that's good. Uh, what we got here? Some Pokemon card things, Pokemon online trading cards. We got instructional methodology. Uh, this is from 1974. Oh, this is a schedule. So we got some paper ephemera looks like. I am sweating so bad right now. Uh, it is incredibly hot. Speaking of hot, this is some place where I'd like to go. It looks pretty hot there. And hot is, it means it looks like it's somewhere I want to be, not somewhere where I'm about to melt, which I'm doing right now. We have a National Geographic. We have a 1967 Nebraska calendar. Ooh, we got some pictures in here, some smaller pamphlets, some hotel postcards. All sorts of stuff. We got writing pads. Right over here, we got some old books. A cover to a book. Well, I think that was supposed to, that's how it was supposed to be inside, I think. Candy, thank you for everything. Thank you for the wonderful gifts. I don't know what this card is for, but we'll keep that off the internet. Uh, thank you, Candy, for all that. Uh, greatly appreciate all the different items here. I like the postcards as well. Hotel, maybe I will travel here on the National Geographic's Traveler's Experience of a life, Lifetime. That looks like a pretty cool place to be. I'll take salsa up there. We'll have a great day. Thanks, Candy, for all the paper ephemera. Greatly appreciate it. Salsa is currently inspecting every single package that's here. Here we have one from Darlene. I think this was the oldest package, and I think I received this three days after um, doing the last mail day. Darlene. So also is now licking everything. Darlene, uh, also known as Calmia Candles and Soap out of York, Pennsylvania, has blessed me with soap for the past couple of years. And I gotta say, it is amazing soap. If you guys haven't checked it out, I can smell it from here. Uh, we do have her little, you guys wanna check out Calmia Candles and Body Care. They have uh, an Etsy shop as well. Soap smells amazing. It lasts a long time. It is actually really, really good soap. I absolutely love it. Uh, if you guys haven't checked it out, definitely check it out. Hey, Taco, I hope you are always as happy as you are now. Thanks for the videos. I look forward to them every day. The Red High Hill soap and hand cream are for Mama Stacks. Ooh, Mama Stacks getting the, into the swing of things. Say hello to her and Bro Stacks. Kisses for salsa. Love, Darlene. Red high heel soap and hand cream are for mama stacks. My mom uses a lot of hand cream. Amazing. So we have some hand cream as well here. That goes to mama stacks. We have a, oh, this camel. Camel smells amazing. One thing in my family is I always like camels. Camels, I don't like camels. We like candles here. Uh, warm apple pie soy jar. Let's check that out. It smells amazing, everything smells amazing. I know the camera's going all crazy right now. I think it's because there's so many colors going on. A couple soap bars as well. Gotta say, the soaps are amazing. They smell great. This one really smells great. Mahogany teakwood. 
Look at the colorway on that. Awesome, awesome colorway. You got kind of a mahogany uh, color, a little purple, a little brown, a little orange. That one also goes to Mama Stacks. Greatly appreciate Darlene. You've always hooked it up with some awesome soap. If you guys haven't checked it out, everything's not really sh showing up. There we go. This smells, this stuff smells amazing. Uh, check it out, Calmia, Calna, Calmia Candles and Body Care. Also, calmiacandles.com, K-A-L-M-I-A, candles.com. Check it out. Go support another, another stacker. Great products. Thanks again, Darlene. Greatly appreciate this. will be going to good use. Thanks. All right, moving on. We have one here from Chris from Illinois. I know I do have more packages. Well, right there. So if you guys sent anything, you're like, well, where's my package? It might be up there as well. This one's from Chris B. out of Illinois. So we got a t-shirt here. So what I do is I actually rip open every package, uh, but I don't take anything out. As you can see, it's all pretty sealed. Oh, we got a letter. Oh, got two letters. Oh, <laughs> I went to salsa. I want to forget that one. Oh, missing the, uh, oh, that's over there. I'll just use scissors. I do have a letter, letter opener. Getting all my words mixed up today. Making up words, mixing words. Just to know. Hey Taco, just wanted you to know that I really enjoy watching your videos. You crack me up at times with some of the things you say. Enclosed are a couple teas for you. They're free, free to me and I want to pass them on to you. Sell them or wear them. That is up to you. Take care from Chris from Illinois. And we have one to Salsa, but Salsa unfortunately can't read right now because she's sleeping. She does sniff everything and lick everything, but she does not grab things and run away with them if they are not like given to her. They're just like dropped. She just leaves them alone. Happy belated second birthday, Salsa. I hope you had a wonderful day. That's from Chris. Salsa. Chris said happy birthday. All right, moving on. We have some t-shirts here. This one feels vintage. Ah, that is awesome. It's not vintage, but it's an awesome tee. MTB, little MTB action. Very, very cool. It's the Boombox logo, right? Yeah, it's kind of got the Boombox in the back. Wow, it's bringing back childhood. Not childhood, but like middle school. What was that? I forgot what it was called. It came off at like three o'clock or four o'clock right when I came back. It was all the uh, the videos. This was like before YouTube. It was all like the videos and the music. This one is a blank tee. All right, nice Gildan dry blend. Blank tee, orange tee. If you guys haven't noticed, I try to wear blank tees in uh, storage unit videos. Salsa's all fired up. Chris, thank you for the wonderful t-shirts as well as the wonderful gifts. And of course, Salsa's happy belated birthday. Thanks again. Here we won't have... Haha, <laughs> I was about to say Mississippi. Greetings from Massachusetts. No name on it. Looks like we got a plate it's stuck. It's like it's stuck stuff. Oh, it's stuck to the back of that. Oh, Constitution State. Aha, talk about a good day. We got some magnetic notepads. Ooh, that's great. I might go on the fridge. Please read on air. Absolutely. As long as it's non cursive. Wow, that's good handwriting. It's non cursive, so that's good. Taco Stacks, this is our second time sending you mail. I love the t shirt order. The 5XL makes a perfect night shirt. We are glad you have been able to stay healthy during a pandemic. We live in Massachusetts, but are sending you an old plate I had on a truck I previously registered in Connecticut. We had not seen a Connecticut plate on your wall. We can't seem to find your 2019 video where you say your name is either Brian or Ryan. Which one is it? We like your videos with your brother or Renee, aka Paper and Moose. Keep up the good work. Take a gander outside this summer. Remember, it is what is. Play the odds. Jamie and Katrina M. out of Milford, Massachusetts. Thank you to you two. And I don't believe I have a Connecticut plate, but I haven't been up there in a couple days. I haven't really looked at the wall, so I don't know what I have up there. There's a lot of plates up there. Thank you for the Connecticut plate. Greatly appreciate it. If I don't have one on the wall, I'll definitely throw this bad boy up there. Hopefully all is well to you too, and thank you for the magnetic notepads. Greatly appreciate it. Let's talk about a good day. Greatly appreciate it. Hopefully everything is going well in Massachusetts. Thank you for the license plate, and I'm glad you enjoy the shirt. Here we have one from MJ in New York. Got ourselves a book and a note.
Dear Taco Stacks, I discovered your channel a while back. I've been entertained ever since. I admire the fact that you are helping the environment through recycling and help others with your donations. Most of all, you're a hard worker up before dawn and working after dark. And that's to be admired. My father broke his back to raise his family and had a strong work ethic that he passed along to me. Well, I'm a lot already I respect younger folks such as yourself who are tireless in your efforts since you've always hard at work. I hope you'll accept a small gift I have for you. In this envelope, I've included a copy of my latest novel, which I wrote based on my late father's life. I hope you get a chance to take a break and enjoy the story. At the end of your video, I always tell you about your videos to keep living a dream. Having this book published was one of my dreams. Thanks for all your videos. Sincerely, Michael J. K. All right, guys, haven't checked out. There's this book he wrote. Very, very cool. Got a nice description on the back, which I will leave to you guys. If you wish to purchase this, this is a book by a subscriber. I will take the time to read The Heart of Valerie, Velotry. Probably butchered that, but greatly appreciate the gift. Uh, when I do have time, I know come fall, I kind of ease down a little bit, so I'll get ahead and read a little bit of this. And I greatly appreciate it, and congratulations on all your success. And definitely achieving one of your dreams. Greatly appreciate it. I will definitely get to this in the fall. Uh, not just because I'm really, really busy, but greatly appreciate the book. Make a good night reading. And since we lose power here quite some time, it'll definitely get me away from uh, sitting down and just doing things on the computer and such. So thanks for that. Hopefully everything's going well with you, Michael. Congratulations on your book as well. Moving along, we have one here from Eric B in Michigan. I believe Eric B sent me a couple packages last video. There we got a letter. Yes, the letter's popping down here. We got Black Bear. Dear Taco Stacks. It's in cursive. Oh, no. I work. Oh, man. Cursive is not my forte. Oh, I see. I work and I enjoy loving your videos. Congratulations on all your success. Love, Eric. July 16th, so I wasn't too off with that. Oh, we got a cool Michigan plate here. This is a trailer plate. Well, I guess that's how you get it. It comes in this little package. We have a trailer plate. I like to hammer that out, flatten that a little bit. A lot of these packages get a little bent just in the process of mailing. We have a Michigan plate there. We have another Michigan plate here. I know I do have a Michigan plate on the wall. I have no idea which one it is. And then last, we have another Michigan plate. So a collection of three Michigan plates. Thank you, Eric B. Hopefully all is well in Michigan. Greatly appreciate the wonderful gifts, the wonderful plates. We're getting very, very close to finishing that wall. Uh, I think it's going to cool down this weekend. I'm going to try to get up there and get some plates done on the wall. And maybe there might be five or ten left after that that will need to be hung up. Uh, but thank you for that. Fran S. from Michigan as well. Okay. This one is to Paper Moose. Tried finding her PO address, PO box. All right. Well, I won't even spoil that. That will be on Renee's channel. Next time I do see Renee, I'll drop that off of her. Uh, this one is from Jeannie W. in Mississippi. Dream big. If it looks like my face is glistening, and I have makeup on, or I'm looking very professional in any possible way. That is not true. It's about 9,000 degrees in here, and I'm currently melting. And I feel like if you went back to the earlier part of the video, I probably didn't look like this. But I am melting. Taco stacks. Thank you. Oh, is this open? Uh oh, cursive. Enjoy the socks. This is winter. Well, what? Enjoy the socks. This is winter. Ramsey had a pair for every soccer game. Yeah, thanks for the fun videos. My grandson, Nine, loves your name because he, he likes tacos at least twice a day. Ramsey and Jeannie W. Awesome. Got ourselves some tacos. Some tacos. We got ourselves some taco socks. Very, very cool. Thank you, Ramsey and Jeannie. Fits men's shoe size, US 7 to 13, so these will definitely fit. Maybe I'll even rock these when I'm wearing shorts one of these times. Be a very interesting look. These are actually really cool looking socks. Pop these bad boys open. 
Oh yeah, get yourself some taco socks. Greatly appreciate it. Hopefully all is well, Ramsey and Jeannie. Thank you for the taco socks. Hopefully, Ramsey, you're wearing some taco socks as well. All right, let's go grab these other packages. Oh, speaking of that, I hear a mailman driving down the road. All right, let's go with this one over here. This one was given to Renee. This one's from Larissa, meant to be dropped off here. Get well wishes. Just couldn't resist this adorable car. Please don't get sick, Taco. This is March 2020. I don't know how I just finally realized that I had this. I also have some other packages over there, so it must have got buried, so I apologize for that. Really, truly love your videos. You and Salsa rule. Thank you, Larissa. Greatly appreciate the wonderful, wonderful message. Let's rip this bad boy open. Oh, got our letter. Here's a t-shirt for you and you have a new van and things are going well for you. I really like how you mentioned other YouTubers on your channel. That's really sweet of you. Take care, love you, and salsa. Your friend, Larissa. Who's the woman who makes you soap? Woman who makes me soap, Darlene K. Uh, Calmia Candles. Thank you, Darlene. And thank you, Larissa. Get ourselves a t-shirt. Ooh, very cool. <laughs> Back in my college days, Bud Light. Very, very cool. Oh, this is nice. This is a nice soft tee. Go ahead and throw us through a wash once. Very, very cool. Oh, you got this at Goodwill. Wow. This is like brand new. That's a very, very cool t-shirt. Greatly appreciate it, Larissa. Uh, you will be definitely seeing that future video. Sorry for just getting to it now. Greatly appreciate the t-shirt. Hopefully all is well. Here we have one from D&B Bach out of Massachusetts. Oh, got ourselves a t-shirt. Oh, got ourselves a postcard. Oh, buddy, it's in, can it's in cursive. Dear Taco, I was out thrifting the other day and came across this shirt, which made me smile and think of you. Two things that always go together. You have entertained and informed me for countless hours, and, and that is a great thing. Wow, my cursive reading is atrocious. Keep living a dream. Peace. Deb B. Thank you, Deb. Oh, this was sent just recently. Perfect. Oh, yeah, that's right. I just actually picked this up yesterday. I'm starting to lose it. <laughs> it's like a SpongeBob shirt. What is this? <laughs> it's not SpongeBob. I'm just losing it. It's a taco. With a salsa. Sniffing it. Deb B. Greatly appreciate the taco shirt. Greatly appreciate the taco shirt. Hopefully all is well in Massachusetts. You're staying safe as well. Uh, Salsa is going to go over here and sniff it a little. Uh, and thank you for the kind words. I'm glad I can definitely keep entertaining a lot of you. I know sometimes it feels like I'm kind of repetitive in my ways, but uh, uh, thank you for all the wonderful support and uh, hopefully all is well. This one is from Eva F. out of Missouri. Taco, heard you said you wanted some YouTube logos. You wish you had the YouTube logo. Guessed on the size. Hope you can use them. Lay upside down. Pull white back and off slowly at a 45 degree angle. It's a permanent vinyl, but will come out with a hair dryer. Love, Eva F. Oh, thank you. It's got some YouTube decals. So yeah, like you can't like find YouTube decals or stickers or magnets pretty much anywhere. Um, I did come across some magnets probably a couple months ago, but greatly appreciate this. And we do have some stickers as well. Look like pretty high quality. So thank you, Eva. Thank you for the stickers. I'm going to go ahead and put them somewhere. I was going to just throw them over my, uh, or I was going to just buy a magnet and just throw this on top of it. Uh, but I never found the decals and eventually I just found the magnets. But I definitely will be using these for something in the future. I greatly appreciate it, uh, Eva. Hopefully all is well with you. Thank you for the decals. I know those were sent a while back as well. Greatly appreciate it. Hopefully all is well. Here we have one from Dan R. in Massachusetts. Taco. Got a letter. I try to read the letters first. Sometimes I get a little carried away. I apologize if that is the case. 
Hey Taco, just a quick note, huge fan of your channel. I recently bought a used Jeep here in the Boston area. I found this plate in the back. I thought you'd like it for your wall. Thanks, Dan R. Really appreciate it, Dan. Yeah, I don't think I have this plate. I don't think I have a commercial plate for Maine. Maine is one of the states I think I only have like one or two plates for. I've only received one or two plates. Uh, so greatly appreciate it. I'm pretty confident I don't have this plate. For some reason, I'm thinking that I have a Maine plate that has a lobster on it, and then I have a South Carolina plate that kind of looks like this in the same graphics, but it's South Carolina. It's got like a bird, like a, I don't know, canary bird. I don't, I don't really know what the bird was, but it's a bird. Dan R, thank you for the wonderful plate. This will definitely be going up on the wall. Plate wall is getting close to finished. If I can get around to them, I'll try to get some plates up this weekend. Uh, that way we can figure out what we need to do from there. But greatly appreciate Dan R, hopefully all is well. Here we have one from Dee Dee in Georgia. Uh, Taco Stacks, love your channel and your hard work. Thanks for being an inspiration. God bless DDW. Ha ha, ooh, that is cool. Looks like you drew this. That is awesome. I'm gonna leave it in there because it's really, really nice. That is salsa to, salsa to a T. That's beautiful. That looks exactly like her. I know she's a golden retriever, but Salsa is a pretty light golden retriever. Her ears are a little bit darker. That is legit, like her to a T. That is awesome. Um, I might have to look into probably getting this framed. And maybe I'll hang it in my house somewhere. Wow. DD, thank you for that. DDW, greatly appreciate it. Hopefully, all is well. Very, very beautiful. It looks like uh, my artwork in terms of my uh, utensils for art is not coming to mind. It's not crayon. It's not a, is it pastel? Oil pastel? It's great too, because it's even got like, she has like that hair like behind her ear, like that goes over her ear. Like it's not just like cut off. It's like her hair goes over her ear like that. So that's great. DD, greatly appreciate it. Wonderful art. Uh, greatly appreciate it. I will try to look into getting that framed and putting it somewhere. Uh, that's awesome. This one's from Stacy W. in Indiana. Oh. Fruit snacks? What do you got here? Looks like fruit snacks. Dear Talk Snacks, thank you for saving the earth. I've been watching your channel for years. You're the first YouTube I ever watched. Do you get credit when we watch you on a fire stick? Thank you for always being polite and not cussing. Your positive attitudes uplifting Stacy and some healthy snacks too. If you need more, please let me know. Stacy W. Thank you, Stacy. These are fruit snacks. I thought they were. They're like fruit snacks that aren't snacks. They're like actually fruit things. It's great. I appreciate that, Stacy. I don't know about the fire stick thing. Um, I only like have run, one friend who has a fire stick. Uh, in terms of like the whole advertisement on YouTube, I don't know like anything about it. All I say is like watch the ads. If you can watch the ads, I mean, if it's like a two hour ad, like skip that thing. That's what I would do. I'll be honest with you. I would not watch a two hour ad. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't know in terms of like the advertisement or whatever it might be, how much I get paid for ad. If you skip the ad, if you watch 10 seconds for an ad, no one knows and they don't tell us. So uh, I don't know about the fire stick, but thank you for the wonderful support and thank you for the, the uh, fruit snacks. Greatly appreciate it. This looks like the last package from Cheryl F. in Ohio. It's got some weight. Oh, buddy. Looks like the care package on care package. Looks like we have a gift card. That's what that is. <laughs> I like the first line is, Dear Ta Salsa and Taco, I hope Salsa is doing well. We don't see much of her anymore. Blah, blah, blah. Taco, I had a few t-shirts from the 80s and 90s. Plus, I went for the first time to one of our local thrift stores to look for t-shirts for you. I don't know if... The lack of old tees was the norm, but I didn't find many old ones. Most of the sports I dealt with were the cash from 2016 win. If you're interested in let them let me know. I did find one nutmeg brand. I don't know if the tees are in this box or next I plan to see. Hope you're okay. You've looked a little. What? Hope you're okay. You've looked a little. Oh, look, I guess looked a little rough. Looked a little tired. I'm sweating right now. This is this is a hot one. I want to get you a good card for gas, but didn't know where you went. So Dunkin' Donuts it is. Stay well, save and 
Stay well, stay safe. Give salsa some ear rush me. Cheryl, P.S. Do with the t-shirts what you want. Thank you, Cheryl. I can already see right now they look vintage, or at least this t-shirt does. I'm gonna save that one for the last. We got a whole collection of tees. I was actually running low on tees too, so <laughs> this is probably, probably good. I've been recycling the same tees for quite some time. This is what, Corey Kluber? That is Corey Kluber. These shirts, like I feel like in 10 years, are gonna be very, very hard to find and very sold out there. I think Kluber now plays for the Rangers. I see an awesome Twins tee. Oh, we have a Ninja Turtles. Thank you, Cheryl. Ninja Turtles. Salsa will have to inspect every single t-shirt. She loves t-shirts. She loves the smell of t-shirts. Oh, this is a good one. It's like a knockoff Mario. Super Galaxy Bros. What in the world? Oh, well, knockoff the, the, uh, the Marios. The old Mario. I used to have the Mario tee there. Just for that, we have a cool wicking kind of tee. Uh, it's the Colts, good old Colts tee. All right, Salsa, you can sniff these. Here. Oh. She's like up my, my sleeve right now looking at looking at every shirt. Like, oh yeah, which one's that one? Which one's that one? Here we have uh, what is this? Red Sox? No, this can't be Red Sox. This is the Indians. Of course, because everything's out of Ohio here. Why would it be the Red Sox? Well, I'm losing it. I'm starting to lose it. Got Popeye, a little Popeye action. Foster Thermal. That one over there. Yeah, so finding vintage tees are kind of really, really hard to find. It seems to be like <laughs> Love Pizza. Uh, this is actually great because I do love pizza. I'm probably going to have pizza at night. Uh, vintage tees are like impossible to find now. Oh, this one feels vintage. I'll put the vintage ones over there. This one's a Cavaliers tee, and this one, ooh, I like the color of this one. So thank you, Cheryl, for the list. This is a wonderful gift package. Salsa is still on my sleeve. This one also might be. Yeah. Cleveland, home of the rock and roll. Love the colorway on that one. Here we have a Cavs. Sorry that LeBron left, but that's LeBron things. Cavaliers t-shirt. Salsa's going nuts. She smells like a million different things right now. Here's a nice vintage tea. Oh, that's awesome. 1989, wow. That's a classic. Love the color on this. Light blue is, as you can see, light blue. Um, love that. Love that. Let's we'll throw it on top of that one. This one looks like an older tee as well. Hawaii? Very cool. You're going to see all these in future videos. They do say XO, but as a lot of people might be very familiar with, uh, shirts shrink like crazy. And the vintage shirts definitely do. This one's an awesome tee as well. But finally, to sign off on Mail Day, a nice vintage Twins champion shirt, 2001. That's not champions. World Series, I mean. 1991. Awesome with the whole team on it. Very, very cool. Cheryl, greatly appreciate the wonderful collection of t-shirts you've sent me. You will see a bunch of these in future videos. As you might know, I'm kind of running low on my own t-shirts, my vintage tees. Uh, so I greatly appreciate it. Thank you as well for the Dunkin' Donuts gift card. I will be putting this to good use probably in a matter of an hour or two hours. Uh, but thank you for that. Greatly appreciate it. Hopefully all is well with yourself as well. All right, so that's going to wrap it up here for today's Mail Day video. Hopefully you guys and girls enjoyed it. Thank you to everyone who sent wonderful gifts, gift cards, clothing, uh, license plates, and etc. Lots and lots of great gifts here. Greatly appreciate it. I think Salsa definitely enjoys it too. She's giving, uh, well you can see her kind of her heads popping over there. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it, hit the like button. If you guys want to send any, if you guys want to send any packages, my PO box information is in the description below. Uh, greatly appreciate all the wonderful gifts. I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow for tomorrow's adventure. Until tomorrow, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.